Good morning. It's Thursday the 1st of June 2023 and today I'm on the Pennine Way again. Back there you could just see Mill Hill. I left the Pennine Way just before there on my last walk. To the left in the back there you can just about make out the northern edge of Kinder Scout. But today's walk takes me a bit further north on the Pennine Way. I'm on the very summit of the Snake Pass. That way goes down to Glossop. And that way goes down to Lady Bower Reservoirs. Okay, but I'm going further along the Pennine Way, as I say. believe we're now into June. Where does the time go as I always say? <laughs> Flipping heck. The older you get the quicker time seems to go. Anyway, this breezy walk so far <laughs> is about five or perhaps five and a half miles the walk I'm doing today so not too bad. There shouldn't be any major climbs in today's walk so a bit easier than the last walk but we shall see. I think the main factor is the wind, so let's see how we get on. This old track is called Doctor's Gate. Down that way goes to Glossop, and that way goes on to Snake Pass a bit further down. An old route, I think. Anyway, my way lies ahead. My route was a long, slow ascent across the peat-covered gritstone moorland, as the Pennine Way became a paved path in places, keeping my feet dry from the boggy areas. Once the wind's dropped, I'm just going to say something whilst I think about it. Just get the negatives out of the way. <laughs> I recently posted an update. Well, I say recently. It was at the end of May, but by the time this video is published and you're watching this, it's probably going to be about three or four months later. <laughs> but at the end of May, I posted an update to say that I had actually created a, a huge backlog of films because I've been so busy with my filmmaking. And up to that point, I'd been posting a new video every other Friday. But due to the backlog, I'd said that I was going to post a new video every single Friday. So by this time, that's what you will have seen. Um, but because of a comment I received, and I don't know where that comment came from, and I won't say who it was from, but I just wanted to say that I don't expect anybody to have to keep up with all my films. You know, bearing in mind that I am making a huge amount of films this year. I don't know how I've managed it really, but you know, nobody is expected to have to watch every single film I make. Those films are posted on YouTube for people to see when they want, if they want. And I don't expect people to have to watch my films or feel they have to watch my films if I watch theirs regularly. You know, it doesn't work like that. 
Uh, and as I've said myself, I don't always have time to watch everybody else's videos on YouTube either because there aren't enough hours in the day. I mean, there are some YouTubers posting a video every week, some are posting them every few days even, um, and some more so every single day. And some, those that are posting every single day are posting more than one video every single day. So there just aren't enough hours to watch everybody else's video. So just to sort of say, I don't expect anybody to have to keep up with all my videos. But uh, I know there are people that were very pleased when I said that I would be posting a video every single Friday. So that's great. But I just thought I'd better mention that. I don't really know why I'm saying it because, yeah, I don't know why, but there you go. It's just because of that comment, I just feel I ought to mention it really. Beginning to gain some higher ground again now. You can always tell because the wind gets stronger. <laughs> I've not done this walk before, this is a new one. It should be a fairly easy one to do. Um, so I don't know how much footage I'm going to be taking today, because there's a lot of bleak landscape really, so there isn't sort of a great deal of variety to film, but we shall see. I walked on, the wind was becoming stronger, and despite the bleakness of the moor, I never for one moment failed to appreciate its sheer beauty. This is Hearn Clough. This is really pleasant actually, it's really nice where the path is running alongside the stream. Well, the path is sort of well, going through the cliff basically, well, but I'm sort of following this stream up to past its source really, and that should be the highest point on today's walk. Well, yeah, it's quite nice. It, Dipping in these little cliffs, it just gives the walk a little bit more variety than just being on bleak moorland all the time. <laughs> the Pennine Way finally came to the end of its long and gradual ascent as my path levelled out onto the plateau known as Bleak Low. trying to get these bleaker walks done before the end of the summer. Mainly because we've got longer days of daylight. Um, but I'm also choosing my days when the weather's going to be good because I wouldn't want to come up here on a wet day or when there's mist forecast because I can't imagine how scary it must be if the mist comes down and you're stuck up here. It's never happened to me. I hope it never does. <laughs> Just ahead of me was the summit, marked by a huge cairn of stones and a wooden pole. At 2,077 feet, Bleaklow is the second highest point in the Peak District and Derbyshire, and the source of the River Derwent is on its eastern side.
This is Bleak Low Head. A very apt name, Bleak Low. <laughs> From Bleaklow Head, I left the Pennine Way to head along a less prominent path. As I headed southwest, I passed many of the impressive rock formations on Bleaklow. Stones. Some great views towards Manchester from here. The Wayne Stones are also known as the Kissing Stones, which, if you look at certain angles, the reason for this is clear. I'm gradually making my way back now, but this particular path is uh, more or less parallel to the Penham Way, but I'm going back this way just to vary the route really. Along here, at some point, there is something of interest, a place I've never visited before. I'm really looking forward to seeing it actually. Stones. From the Hearn Stones, my path became even less obvious as I negotiated my way across the bogs of Bleakland. So this is the reason why I've taken this more challenging route back. This is what I've come to see. Wow, look at that. This is the site of a Boeing B-29 Super Fortress, an American bomber called Overexposed that crashed on Bleaklow in November 1948. Part of the 16th Photographic Reconnaissance Squadron, used for military photography, the plane crashed due to a fatal navigation error in poor visibility. All 13 crew members lost their lives. Much of the wreckage remains on the moors as a memorial with a plaque in memory of those who died in the crash. Amongst the exposed wreckage are the duplex cyclone engines, wing sections, fuselage sections, undercarriage and gun turrets. One of the gun turrets is on display at the Air Museum in Newark in Nottinghamshire. Exposed crash site. What a memorial. It's 
it's a fantastic memorial, but at the same time very sad. What a wonderful place. Fail to feel moved here. What a place. Okay, well, there's a tree point just up there, so I'll just go and bag it. Well, I was asking for that to happen. That'll teach me not to have tied the band under my chin. Thankfully, however, I managed to retrieve my hat, after which I was able to enjoy looking around higher shelf stones. Right, I'm at higher shelf stones now. <laughs> I've just come below them to get out of the wind because I lost my hat just now. <laughs> that was bound to happen, let's be fair. But uh, what a view I've got from here. Wow, you can see right down into Glossop from here. headed downhill, crossing a stream at the bottom, then bearing right to follow a path along the edge of Crooked Clough. I'm walking above Crooked Clough now. This is lovely. Yeah. So, I'm nearly at the end of the walk now. I could just see my car at the distance, parked on the top of Snake Pass. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it won't be long before I'm back there now. But uh, just gonna walk down here. This path comes out onto Doctor's Gate, and I just turn left onto Doctor's Gate, which takes you back to the Pennon Way. Just a short walk back onto Snake Pass from there. So yeah, it's been a really lovely walk today. Very windy. <laughs> The windiest walk I've done for a long time, so uh, that uh, makes it more exciting. You know? so, yeah, really nice, nice little walk today, and uh, I particularly enjoyed seeing the B29 crash site. To say that was really spectacular to see. It's amazing they just sort of left all that debris there, really, and it's just sort of become the memorial. Yeah, very moving. So, lovely place to visit.